lovable is not secure. That's what they want you to believe. But that is not true. Now, there are many people on the internet saying that, hey, AI made applications are not secure. You're going to get hacked. You're going to expose your user's data and it's going to be very bad. You're going to get sued. They're going to tell you all the nightmare scenarios that could ever happen. Now, here's something that you need to consider. This is not new, but for the first time in history, Lovable now allows people that are non-technical to actually build real applications. If we are doing a time travel and we're going back a couple of years and look at Bubble, we see beautiful stuff. Like here are cybersecurity researchers figuring out that you can hack every Bubble application. And then here is someone leaking his entire data that they built you know, in their application built in Bubble. That was even a year ago, so it's actually pretty recent. Um, you know, they were able to leak districts, email, roles, schools, and students, which is probably not good because they're leaking sensitive government information. Um, and then someone else's Bubble app got shut down by a hacker, and he's demanding $500 or he will keep his bubble application down. Now, this was done a couple of years ago, but I want to mention this. This is not new. There are many non-technical founders, non-technical people who are building applications with no-code tools um, and that are not secure because they don't have the technical knowledge in building it. Now, with a no-code tool, you have the problem, though, that you know, you have to drag and drop and set things up yourself. And there are certain things that you miss that are important for security. In Lovable, on the other hand, I'm also able to build an application as a non-technical person, but I can see exactly with the help of AI what's wrong in my application, what's insecure, and it will give me the ability to, you know, do a free security check and see what's happening in my application, what could be a vulnerability, and it also gives me steps in fixing that and shows me exactly how to do that. And it can also fix certain security flaws for me. So here's the thing. If you compare Bubble no-code tools with Lovable, Bold, and all of them, you're going to see that actually for non-technical people who have no idea what they're doing, Lovable will actually be a more secure solution because it tells you what's wrong on your backend. Where no-code tools, they don't tell you what's wrong on your backend. They just let you drag random blocks together. They don't care if this block should be under this block to be secure. They don't tell you that, right? So using make Zapier, putting that all together, member stack on top of that, or using bubble and then connecting that with Zapier and all kinds of stuff is probably not that secure. People can just call your webhooks, use your credits. It's probably not authenticated. I could think of thousands of ways how this is not secure. Where in Lovable, my backend and my front end is in one place and I can get security warnings for everything. And if I don't know about those things, I have the ability to have a chatbot who's trained on my code base to ask the right questions. So if you're building in Lovable, consider clicking on the security tab and learning a little bit about your application and seeing what's wrong in there. It also shows you this every time you publish. You can also ask any security related questions here in the chat, which I would always suggest. Get stuff explained in layman's terms from the AI to you. But you know, if you don't have row level security set up in Lovable, or if you don't have row level security set up in Bubble or in whatever else no code tool that sets up with your Superbase, it's going to be the same thing. So and you see, like, it just found lots of security issues, and I can now have Lovable fix the security issue. And it gives me a beautiful UI to do that. So I think it's the same. Everybody else who's telling you that AI is more dangerous than no-code is probably just trying to sell you a no-code course or trying to sell you a no-code tool or is a no-code company or hired by a no-code company. Everybody else who's a programmer telling you that, you know, Lovable may not be secure, there is definitely some truth to that if you're ignoring the security messages and if you're not curious about learning what you're building and asking some questions to the AI. But as long as you're willing to learn and ask some questions to the AI and, you know, you're willing to go a little bit more back and forward than needed, I think there's nothing you have to worry about. And then ultimately, there are many good real applications that are built by code that are also exposing users' data because of mistakes. So, I'm, of course, security is important, but I'm saying 
not even hand-coded applications are always 100% secure. If you just look up on the internet, lawsuits for company exposing your data, you see the biggest Fortune 500 companies inside of there. Now, I'm not downplaying data security. It is critical, but I'm putting it in contrast with other real-life examples out there. So there you go. Now you decide for yourself if Lovable is really that unsecure. Take care. Bye.